Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Strange Town. Yeah. Alright, so today we are back with the Spectre family and... Alright, I think we have hopefully some interesting stuff happen. I know over the past few episodes, I did have a lot of questions about this family. A lot of like opinions that I wanted you guys to help me out with. And thankfully, you guys are very responsive to my Sims 2 um, series and my questions. So, one of my questions was um, kind of about Ophelia here. And how her relationships, I was like, oh, well, why does she have a crush on Rip, but not with Johnny anymore, you know? Ooh, what? Like, maybe they're just friends, but you guys informed me, which obviously should have been common sense, but I didn't think about it. That, the reason why is because Johnny has already aged up into a young adult, so it's not allowed in The Sims 2 for them to be in a romantic relationship. So that is why she still has a crush on Grunt as, I mean, Rip, yeah, Rip Grunt, as he is a teenager still, and Johnny has aged up. But Ophelia... She actually becomes an adult in two days, so I'm thinking we can probably have her a birthday party. I think that would be pretty fun. Go ahead and age her up. Uh, because I know a lot of you were like her and Johnny all the way. I mean, they're best friends. And I agree. I think they have a really, really steady, solid foundation of a relationship. Um, and while her and Rip are really good friends, um, she just she's just attracted to him. It's nothing more than that. But her heart does belong with Johnny. So I, th I think they'll have some really cute hybrid babies. I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyways hear a dog barking it's because the mailman just dropped off a package at the door and um we have a dog inside that's barking so <laughs> just ignore that but anyways she does have to go to school today so i'm just gonna go ahead and let her do that um and as far as olive goes um a lot of you are like hey you ain't got to worry about saving her from death because she wants to be with the Grim Reaper. And I didn't think about that. And it makes a lot of sense. That's obviously, duh, why she killed all these people. Because she is in love with the Grim and she wanted to see him. And how do you get the Grim to show up? Well, you kill people. <laughs> Somebody dies. So, I'm not going to be worried about saving Olive. So, we're probably not going to see much of Olive in this strange town. Let's play. Um, because of that reason, I mean, she's, she knows her time is ticking short, and, um, she wants to be with the Graham, so I'm, I'm gonna let her creepy ass be with him, because who am I to stop true love, you know? <laughs> but Ophelia is gonna go off to school, and then hopefully we can get some of that social up while she's there. I hope so. And then we can plan a birthday party for her. Um, so I guess we're just gonna hang out with Miss Olive <laughs> today. So she is chatting on the computer, probably trying to get some prey to come over so she can casually murder them. I don't know, but we're, I'm, I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> I mean, that could be fun possibly, but I'm just not about killing random Sims. Uh, homegirl is about to kick the bucket. She's about to be with him eternally, so I'm, I'm just, we're not, we're not doing that, <laughs> and as far as this house goes, once she passes away, obviously, um, Ophelia will probably be left to inherit this house, um, or it could possibly be nervous, I really don't know if either one of them want to live here because I, I just don't like it. I think it's really creepy. And I definitely think that as far as Ophelia goes, if her and Johnny continue on in their relationship, um, I, I just don't see Johnny <laughs> wanting to live here um, compared to the house he grew up in. The Smith family house is really nice. So this house... Um, we may have nervous move into it or something. Maybe if he escapes, we are trying to have him get out of that crazy household and, you know, not be a test subject anymore. Um, but I'm going to have her come over here and eat some cereal before she gets too hungry. Does she have any cooking skill? No. Okay. So, as mentioned before, which is probably one of the most annoying things in The Sims 2. I say it all the time, but I'm going to say it again. Is... That if you don't have any freaking cooking skills, everything that you cook, um, it just doesn't fill you up. And I understand that it makes sense. You have to have skills to learn how to cook new recipes. But why does that have to affect the quality of it? To, 
it just it it bothers me because you have to eat like 50 bowls of cereal in order to to get full and I just don't like that so before Ophelia left for school I actually had her um, study cooking so I'm, I'm gonna get that up because I just I can't I can't deal with it and she also is a family um, oriented sim she has a family aspiration so yeah I definitely see her wanting kids in the future and I think she would she would want to know how to cook you know she'd want to be a good wife and mother one day but anyways what I think I'm gonna do since we have a little bit of time before Ophelia gets back from school. I think what we're going to do is probably reach out to Nervous. Um, I don't think we can go. We can't visit somebody's house in The Sims 2, can you? I don't think that they would like that anyway. So what I'm going to do is call him over. Um, which, you know, you would think he's a test subject. They're The beakers, they're not going to let him out. But, I mean they do because he was at the curious brothers house so you know what we're just going to sneak him over here because they're probably at work today anyways so we're going to invite him over because we know our time is ticking and we kind of want to bond with our son <laughs> can my friend come over too um sure let's just see who his friend is um it, it may be a girl or a boy that he's interested in and maybe pascal it hopefully is not one of the beakers because <laughs> that would be awkward we're trying to like sneak you away um but yeah i do want her to kind of bond with him a little bit before she passes away since unfortunately she wasn't <laughs> the best mother you know murdering a bunch of people might might have the tendency to get your child taken away from you but who is that Oh, it is Pascal. Okay. So, we know Pascal is really good friends with Nervous. And I had a lot of you give me mixed opinions on if they should be in a relationship. Should they just be friends? Should they be romantically involved? And I did address it a little bit in the last part with the um, Curious family. I said I wasn't going to push it. I was just going to let it unfold naturally. Um so we're just we're just gonna see how it goes um but we do know that pascal is a very good friend of nervous and he does want to help nervous you know oh cute <laughs> he's like that's what you get okay payback's a biatch well <laughs> anyways we're gonna have her uh kind of chat to pascal she's out here in a freaking woman let's put some clothes on they don't want to see all that but i'm gonna change her into her every day um, I think they're invited in, so they can probably all just come inside. But yeah, she knows that she doesn't have much time left, and um, she wants to, to help Nervous get out of that house that he's in, being a test subject, so I think they're going to come over here and kind of brainstorm. Um, and she's like, I can kill them for you. <laughs> I know, Mom, but let's just, let's not, let's not do that. Oh, they just became best friends. I love it. I don't know. I kind of don't want to mess up that relationship as far as like a friendship. But then that could be the perfect romantic relationship. Then being best friends. I don't know. Look at them out here playing. What's that called again? Kick sack? Kicky sack? I don't remember. I know that back when I was in middle school, kids used to play that a lot. But I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, what is she doing? Relaxing? Okay, No. We're on a mission here to bond, so let's come over here and um, kind of chat with him a little bit. Oh my god, ew, ew, she is attracted to Pascal, Pascal, son, you better run, that's probably not a good thing. Oh, Ophelia looks like she is an A student, so she is like, hey, anybody care? No, probably not. Oh, that's really sad, but anyways, I do kind of want to have her age up, um, I don't know if I want to do it. Do I want to do it right now? I think I, I think I do. You know what? We're, we're going to do it. So, let's go ahead and go into buy mode and get a... Let's go ahead and just get a birthday cake here. Yeah, we're going to put it right here. I think that's really all that we need. So, let's come over here and... Um, I, I don't really want to have a birthday party because, you know, that's just... What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I was about to say, please do not get into that cake before you blow out your handles. But let's call over Johnny. 
I guess, um, and invite him over, so at least he'll be here. Uh, probably problematic if we invited Rip over, so let's just keep it simple. You should try calling back when Johnny isn't at work. Oh, yeah, well, I guess that, that does make sense. He's at work. So, we'll wait a little bit longer, Pascal. I was trying to go take a deuce myself. Okay, I guess we're going to come over here and get in Olive's bath and shower. And kind of gussy ourselves up, maybe um, take a nap or something. And then, I don't know what time Johnny gets off work. But I do want him to be here when she ages up. Oh, now she wants to come in here and cheer for <laughs> Um, so anyways, it looks like Nervous is coming in. Does Ophelia, do you even know him? Yeah, she knows Nervous. She's like, look, if you want this house, you can have it. If that's what y'all are talking about. Because I don't want to be here. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, he's like, yeah. Uh, wow. wow. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> yeah. She, ooh. Mm. She's, mm. Yeah, you probably need it more than I do. She's like, okay, look. Dude, come on out. I know you don't have the social skills. You have a rough upbringing, but I, I come on now. Give me some privacy. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. So anyways, looks like Pascal is coming over here. And I hope he is not, like, trying to hit on her or compliment her. He's probably just trying to butter her up um, because he knows that she can be the one to help nervous and i know she's not the best person or the best sim ever because let's be honest she's not she's a freak <laughs> she's a psychopath she kills people and she wants to be with the grim reaper and it's just it's just different it's weird but you know what i'm not gonna judge too much um but she does care about nervous and i think she does feel bad that she kind of abandoned him as a child so what are you doing why are y'all going to sleep Oh my god. Okay, well, you know what? She's like, she's mad. She came and got in her own bed. Well, get out of her bed and come get in your own bed. Look. <sighs> I have no idea what time he gets home, but we are freaking struggling. You hear me? I'm just going to have her come over here and nap because I'm not trying to mess her sleep schedule all up completely. Um,. But I, I do want her to be real west, real well rested to age up later. Um, as far as these two go, I guess they're just gonna like hang out in the bathroom <laughs> while Olive takes a little nap. Which I mean, you can get up because it's four o'clock. You're an old woman. You're probably gonna go to sleep early anyway. So just get up and let's not be weird. Um, I mean, did they leave because we went to sleep? They did. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well. I mean, at least we got a little bit accomplished. We did talk to him, and we're trying to make things better, so that counts for something, right? Okay, it is 6 o'clock now. Surely, Johnny is off work by now, so I want to have her come over here and call him um, while we need our social to go up, and we need our fun to go up, and our hunger, so... Yeah, hopefully he'll come over, and we can kind of get this on, on a roll here. We're going to invite him over. I kind of age up, looks like. Is he going to come? Is he going to make it? How nice of you to invite me. I'll just gussy up and come right over. Okay, perfect. Alright, so uh, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to have her come over here and change into her everyday wear because I don't want her aging up into, um, into a young adult with her, her pajamas on. And then, who is this out here? I like her dress. That's real cute. Um, but anyways, I'm going to have um, Olive come over here. She has, of course, absolutely no cooking skill. But I can call a service and I can get, like, a pizza, some pizza or Chinese food. Um, since we are kind of having, technically, a, a low-key birthday party. I know you're struggling, girl. But let's come out here and greet Johnny so he knows it's okay to come inside. Let's call the... Wait, what? Okay, I guess we don't do services. That, that was wrong. Okay, hold up. <laughs> and let's just order some Chinese food because I miss having Chinese food. Did, jo did Johnny leave? No, okay, he's coming to the door. Um, yes, we want to order some Chinese food. What is the issue here? Okay, come over here and talk to him 
fast because I don't want you going like nuts <laughs> and needing the psychiatrist because you have no social. So, anyways, I do want to have her go ahead and probably come over here and blow out her candles so they can you know, kind of get back into their romantic relationship that they had going for them. Oh my gosh, that is a cute outfit. I don't even think we gotta go shopping. That fits you perfectly. I like that. Um, so yeah, she's a young adult. Oh, and by the way, I guess I can mention this now too. Um, okay, I did say that for my Strange Town LP, I wasn't gonna have any of the teens age up and become, um, or go to college. There you go. Get it out correctly, Carissa. And the reason being is because I learned that with the the Pleasant View family, um, or teenagers, when I put them all in a household, I mean, it, it's nice, it's fun, but it's very tedious to have that many teenagers. Um, and they do have kind of like a negative um, memory from it, like, oh, darn, I didn't go, I didn't go to college, but... I think it'll be okay, and I know some of you were like, no, oh, it'll be fine, and then, you know, some of you were like, no, I mean, why don't you just, like, send them and then just show us little, you know, little little snippets of them in their life, and I had some of you tell me there's mods that we can use, but I'm just, I'm not bothering with it, you guys, I I'm just, I can't, because even if I was to send them and just kind of show you what they're doing in their spare time, um, and shorten it down using a mod, it's still taking a lot of extra time for me doing this Let's Play and having, um, content that you guys can actually see and enjoy. It's just taking too much time, so we're just gonna skip through that. Um, it's just too tedious, so. Anyways, I think she just fell in love with him. Yes, they just fell in love. That is so cute. <laughs> um, I really want them to woohoo. <laughs> A birthday woohoo, but she has a, we need to get her a bigger bed. And how come I can't come out here and get this food? That's really annoying. How about you, yeah, walk it to the door. I mean, all right, real quick. I'm sorry, but this is weird. We're going to get rid of this because we're not a kid no more. Okay, looks like she's about to come get in the bed, but you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to get her a big bed because I want her and Johnny to, to to do the deed. You know, I mean, they've been together a long time. They, they want to celebrate. So, you know what? We're going to get that bed and let's kind of give it, hmm, what would suit Ophelia? I kind of like that one. That one's nice. We don't really have much to choose from. I like this. We're going to go with this. <laughs> All right, maybe that'll get her fun up and her social up. They haven't woohooed before, so let's get it on. She's going to check out the bed, but you need to back off because you are being nosy. And how about, oh, a ghost. She did have that. She wanted to see a ghost. Is her husband out? What's his name? Uh, Ichabod. Is any of these Ichabod? I don't know, but the ghosts are creeping. <laughs> So anyways, probably scared off our, our freaking Chinese food. Where did she drop it off at the door for us? I mean, come on. My Sims are about to starve. Can you bring me my food, please? Oh, she's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. She's like, nope. No, thank you. Um, Okay, that's cute. So we don't have any food. She, she didn't leave us any food. Get out of the... Bed, you freaking cock block. Get over here and get in your own freaking bed if you wanna if you wanna freaking go to sleep that bad. Anyways, get out of the bed. I'm gonna have um, Ophelia come over here and relax, and then you know, Johnny boy, <laughs> you wanna come over? You wanna come relax too, so we can ask to join. Yeah, ask Johnny to join. Okay, okay. So, let's kind of cuddle up to him, you know. I think you know where this is going, Johnny. It's been a long time coming. But I really do like her outfit, you know. I'm, I dig it. I'm, I'm kind of happy I don't have to go shopping. I wonder who is calling. But, you know what? We're not studying it right now. Let's kind of have like a little make-out session. You know, complete the mood. Oh, we also have to get her a job. Yeah, so she doesn't have very many skills, but... Let's look, um, 
Let's see. I'm gonna, I'll look at her interests later, but we do have to give her a career. So, actually, you know what? If any of you guys want to suggest a career for Ophelia down below, that would be awesome. I'll just wait to get y'all's feedback on that. But, anyways, we're going to go ahead and woohoo. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Wait! Oh! Okay, okay. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> um, oh, I love how they cuddle up to him in The Sims 2. I really miss those cute little details from The Sims 2 and Sims 3. Um, but it looks like they're having a hard time sleeping because of the phone ringing. So, have Ophelia get up and see the who the hell this is calling us at freaking 11 o'clock at night. Honestly, there's no telling. There's no telling. Oh, Ophelia, girl, I see you. Oh, but you got her little matching heels on. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, what? Like a prank caller? Can we hold up? Can we just please just girl? Girl, yes. <laughs> she is feeling all kinds of sexy. Look at those abs, though. I mean, honestly, she is very pretty. You know what? Let's come over here real quick and change our appearance. I kind of want to see what other hairstyles we can give her. Um, while I do like that one for her, I don't know. I just I just want to see if we can get... Oh, but this would probably be changing it. Would this be changing it for her every day? Per this outfit. No, we're going to do it for every every style here. Okay, so I'm going to flip through these real quick and just see if I can find anything that I like better. Alright, so I really like this look on her. Um, just kind of like a slicked back hair. I don't know. I think it just it makes her look more adult, if that makes sense. So if you guys like this, let me know. If you want me to change it to something else. Uh, let me know that too, but I'm just, I'm going to go with this for now. I just think it's something different. When I age them up, I kind of like to give them a little bit of a makeover just to make them like they have matured a little bit. So, oh my God, look at her. Yes, she's feeling it and I'm feeling it and we're feeling it and it's great. <laughs> so, <gasps> oh my dear God, that scared me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's like, yeah, it's official, Johnny, we, we gotta go, you gotta get me out of here, <laughs> once this, this woman kicks the bucket, we, we gotta go, um, yeah, that was freaking creepy, so anyway, she just had a negative experience, because she's seen a ghost, yeah, move out, she wants to move out, oh, but she wants to go steady, so technically, um, oh, well, how do you do that, I thought they were technically going steady, I don't know, wait, Johnny, please don't leave, are you leaving? You put sugar before you leave. I can't get over her outfit. Is he leaving? Is he just walking out? Is he doing the walk of shame right now? I think he is. Yep, okay. He's doing the walk of shame. He's leaving. Okay, we're not going to chase him down. That was fun. That was cute. But um, I want to have her come over here and use the restroom. And then go to sleep. Okay, I can't with all the ghosts in this house. Every step I take, every, somebody's getting scared. So, yeah, she just pissed herself. Um... <laughs> oh lord it's just it's too much you know why oh it rained i was about to say who was pissing themselves out here but wow looks like she killed the male woman she's killed the repair man she's wow and they are they are haunting her ass that's for sure but anyways she really doesn't have much longer left with us I'm not really sure if she's going to pass away in this part because i'm thinking about wrapping it up in a, in a, in a little bit but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, we're, we're just getting out of here. I don't even know if freaking Nervous wants to live here. That's just, why, why would we, why would we, what am I trying to say? It's like, <laughs> why would we get him out of a, 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 pretty much like a psych ward? He's, he feels like he's in the psych ward. He's, confined to his little bedroom they do test subjects on him he's not respected they're just evil people um to a place where he would just be haunted to death because we we can tell that it's just it's not too fun living here 
I mean, ghosts are everywhere. You can't really have any privacy, and they're just jumping out at every corner, causing you to piss yourself. So why bring him into this environment? I really want the best for Nervous. Um, and hopefully Olive realizes that. Um, she made some mistakes <laughs> um, as far as, like, murdering everybody to be with her one true love. So hopefully uh, she'll learn from those mistakes. Fingers crossed. Um, but in just a few minutes, uh, Ophelia should be awake. I really do love that hairstyle on her. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, it just brings out her dark complexion, and it just it looks so pretty together. I like it. But, yeah, she's struggling with her hunger. She's struggling with her fun. And like I said, I want to know what you guys think that I should do as far as, like, her career. Her very first woohoo with Johnny. Ooh. Ah, but anyways, let's check out her interest real quick. Um, just so I can kind of like see what she might would be interested in doing. I have really no idea. I don't know. Just let me know what, what you think her, her ideal career would be. That would help me out big time. How creepy is that to like walk in the dining room and have Olive staring at you like, I know what you did last night, Missy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do they even have like a close relationship? Not really. Not for real. She's so pretty. I love her. Alright, so I played a little bit um, off camera. Just kind of getting up her fun. And all of that fun stuff. And as you can see, now she's hungry. And I did have her level up to cooking seal too. But we still can't cook very high quality meals so we're making some grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch because we're hungry and yeah so oh that's a dog i was like who in the world what is that there's two dogs chemo and and bane i think i'm you know i can't read we know this by now and i'm blind and i'm i kind of sit far away back from the computer because I'm on a laptop and i'm pregnant so i'm kind of like chillax and lean back because <laughs> it's comfortable for my back but Anyways, um, she's just chatting away online. It looks like it's time for her to take a nap or something. But anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here because I feel like it was pretty successful. Um, you know, Ophelia aged up. Nervous got to, you know, bond a little bit with Olive. And Olive is going to be dying soon. So probably in our next part with her, I'm assuming she would pass away just it just looks like her, her timeline's ticking down pretty quick but yeah I have some questions that I want you guys to answer down below to help me figure out what we're going to do in the next part um, with the Nygmas family and then also um, our Spectre Nygmas Spectre slash Nygmas family and also with Johnny because as you can see she wants to move out and then she also wants to get engaged to Johnny so I think when we get back to the Smith family I'm gonna have him do that I'm gonna have him propose to her and then we can try to find a house to live maybe I can do like a little speed build for them that'd be fun I haven't done like a speed build on the sims 2 so let me know if that's something that you want to see and then also one more question what do you think her career would be? What interest, you know, do you think she would have? Um, and all of that. Um, also, I think one more question that I have for you guys is what about Nervous? As far as him and Olive and their relationship, do you think that Nervous would want to live in this house? Because we've made it very clear that Ophelia wants nothing to do with this place. So let me know what you guys think. Should Olive kind of leave him this house to do with whatever he pleases to? He could sell it and then get a new house. I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know. Let's get creative. Let's figure it out. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. So I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.